Hey, Gavax here. So, golden ticket this week and uh, a couple other things we want to get to in today's Market Monday. Let's first go over the EA Sports tweet that just came out. GMM plus content schedule so we know what's on its way. The final show of regular schedule GMM for the season will be Thursday 5-5 where Muck Golden Ticket list and select golden ticket items will be revealed. Now, They'll probably tell us the whole list. We got the, a good number of them, you know, confirmed. Usually this is like, I don't know, 60 to 80% correct. And, uh, you know, people have like last minute decisions, changes, you know, EA's like, hey, we can't do that one for various reasons. Um, I, I expect, you know, dev golden tickets too, but those might be revealed later. Um, that's just kind of stuff that's just generic golden ticket stuff. But uh, on 5-5, five, five, so Thursday, we will have the final list of golden tickets. Let's talk about that. They got the... Two shows, um, Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, then if there's like special GMMs for like content reveals, that's it. Otherwise, here's the content coming. NFL Draft Part 3, which is a welcome surprise. I would expect it to be like select uh, later round draft pick choices. We've gotten this in previous years. Your, your players that maybe like, you know, Rams didn't have a pick until late. So like, we're going to get maybe one of them. Uh, Dolphin, I, I, I don't know what exactly teams they'll all give them to. Uh, but I expect them to come out with a bunch more of the players that were drafted, at least later on. Um, so those those should probably be, like, generally they're not that great, if I recall correctly. Um, but, like, you know, we got probably, like, 95s. I mean, they might go higher. I don't know. It'd be kind of weird to give guys in the first round 95 overalls. I do want to talk about 95 overalls here quickly. Um, and then, like, give guys in the round two and later higher overalls. So I expect them around this overall. Nothing, like, game-breaking, but it is kind of cool to add to the theme team. Um, but then we have flashbacks, which is traditional wild card Wednesday. Golden tickets. Friday is what we're looking at because they're going to reveal it on Thursday. I don't like, you know, we'll see. Like I, I, last year, it kind of was like kind of iffy. They're going to do it again this year based off what they said in their uh, announcement. But they give like the player their golden ticket right away before everybody else gets it. I wish they just like dole it out at once because like they already got the benefit of choosing the golden ticket. The fact that there's only one out there for a while, too, it feels like. Really putting the uh, uh, the second, third, fourth, fifth scoop of ice cream on tap. It's like, eh, let's chill. But anyways, we might see like one of those golden tickets up uh, that the one of these guys that maybe not released in the first release on Friday. They might give them and they might put them up for like nine, ten million coins. So if you really want to get uh, gameplay with them um, that that aren't going out right away, you're gonna have to pay for that, right? So that is that for golden tickets, and obviously Ultimate Legends will continue all throughout the summer until maybe a few weeks before Madden 23 launches. Okay, so golden tickets. What's going on with that? What the heck is up with that? Because, like, I'm at 4.7 million coins, which isn't a lot, but, like, I've been playing mostly MLB lately, so I haven't been able to, like, keep up with my market work. Like, the amount that I, the amount of, the rate that I spend coins on stream, it's, it takes a lot of, let's say, off-stream work to get that back up, selling cards, work in the market, that kind of stuff. Um, and I just have been playing MLB, so I'm kind of, like, behind uh, behind it. But, like, sometimes being a lazy bum like myself pays off. Now, the only way being a lazy bum with a binder full of cards that I'm not using with a whole bunch of these things, just, like, taking it up, 98, 97s, 96s, I got a bunch of packs that you saw. The only way that works out is if the training variety pack comes back and shoots up the training market, right? I could have worded that better. Um, but, like... That's it, right? And, and that's a it's a very real possibility. But I feel with no communication that every day that passes by, if we don't get a training variety pack, it's looking less and less likely that we're going to get it this year. Um, so golden tickets are going to be expensive if we don't get a TVP, okay? They were not expensive last year due to the TVP, which I thought was awesome. Having obtainable endgame cards and just like having fun with the game I think is a positive uh, for this product maybe ea wants more pack sales during the summer so that's why we're not getting it i really hope we do i really hope they've heard us about the training variety pack um but if golden tickets come out and those there's no training variety pack there's really nothing to keep the market up okay there's no demand side for these lower cards because every just gonna be moving on to golden tickets and it depends on also like if they're statted well right like Let's take a look at these things. Like, some of these could come out absolute disasters, right? Like, this this uh, Vita Vea could come out with, like, 92 speed and basically be terrible trash, right? 
this guy that uh, the made it took a big risk. You know what? And I'm here for risks. I like risks because risks make the world go round. Playing the safe path is a fool's errand. It's stupid. Nobody's going to remember your golden ticket pick if you just pick another free safety Megatron, right? Nobody, Nobody's going to care about that. But the guy that picked Vita Vea, if it sucks, okay, well, whatever. But if it's baller, people are going to hate you. And that's awesome. <laughs> you gotta, at least they'll remember you, okay? So, anyways, golden tickets come out. What is there to use training on? Powering it up to get, like, it's, uh, uh, to get their abilities? That's kind of it, right? Because people are going to be pulling packs, right? People will end up selling their squads to raise coins in order to try and pull packs, you know, because we're degenerate gamblers for these golden tickets, right? So a lot of coins will be sunk. So a coin supply should go down if they don't bring out the training variety pack um, because people are not only going to be replacing cards for the golden tickets, but they're excited about pulling them. So it's like it's like a, it's like a two-headed horse, all right? Or more like a hydra, something with a lot of heads. Kenny's mom. Mm, that didn't work. I, I shouldn't have done that one. I... I feel like I could I could more strategically place those Kenny Kenny K's mom jokes better. Anyways, so what I'm trying to say is that it's not just the people replacing cards in their squad with the golden tickets that's causing a market drop. It's people actually selling off cards and and the binder and investments and everything under the sun in order to raise funds in order to pull these packs. And then now now not only. Uh, the coin supply going away because they're wasting it. They're also increasing the card supply because every pack you buy lowers the coin supply, increases the card supply. That's just fundamental economics, okay? So that's why we see a, a big, big, big market crash with golden tickets in most years. And of course, there is always these mitigating factors, but really, really what I'm hoping on is that they bring in the training variety pack and equalize the market out a little bit so that way there's a demand for training that way there's something to actually like do and go for this late in the year have fun with the game instead of just ripping packs with coins so i really hope they offer us that alternate solution that's basically what this market monday is about it's talking about the supply and demand and why is everything's going crazy but let's look back at the nfl draft you know we got nfl draft part three coming um uh, i don't know if i want to prep for this not knowing their overalls but like, we could take a look at them by the way Dude, I don't want to break my arm patting myself on the back, but holy crap, we called 95s so hard, dude. And that's why we're the best, man. The best around. Everybody else are just poor-ass imitators. Tragic. Anyways, not, I hope I didn't break my arm too hard, but they they went up, right? They were like 40 to 44K before the draft. I was like, I really like 95s right here. 97s are like, they're solid, right? They're solid. 97s went up a little bit. Uh, but the 95 is what I was really targeting. And boy, didn't 95s absolutely skyrocket the night of the draft. Went from like 40 to 44 all the way up to 70. Um, I think at one point, not I, I I don't remember the absolute peak they got to. But I know at, at, at minimum, they were 70K for like the whole time after these uh, lower overall sets came out. Not after the like the 98s, 99. Sorry, after the 99s came out. Once the 98s came out, 95s absolutely skyrocketed and stayed that way. So hopefully you guys made quite a bundle off that. Anyways... Yeah, I, later rounds, like, we're looking at 393s for the later rounds. So you might want to take a look at those uh, for, the, for the 93s in order to kind of get maybe some of the, the later overalls um, uh, for the uh, 95. I wonder why Daxton Hill got a 95, but this one got a 96. I actually don't know uh, why, why that happened. Don't ask me. So, 93s right here. Maybe you could see a little bit of a demand pick up with the second part. It might happen Tuesday, I would say, might be a second part of the promo. Um, since Wednesday's flashback, today is Monday. Um, we'll see what kind of cards they put in, how many cards. Maybe they'll do more after Tuesday. I know everybody's going to get angry at them. Their team not getting enough cards. But if, if they just give uh, every, sorry, not NFL draft. I want an NFL draft passed. If they just give every single car, every single team at least one card, everybody's going to be happy, right? That's not the muck community, I know. So 93s at 24. What's that ratio right now? Uh, let me let me go ahead and take a look at my training spreadsheet here quick. If you guys ever want to see the training spreadsheet yourself, just hit exclamation point training in my Twitch chat at any time of day or night. So it's under two. 93s for 24 is under two, um, which which is a fine buy, I feel like, this time of year. Um, you could buy them today for 24. Maybe they're potentially in the set tomorrow. They go up a little bit. You can sell them off or make the sets for a card that you want. 
Otherwise, we're looking at, like I said, we're staring in the face of a market crash with no training variety pack. So be careful treading these next few days. Um, I'm really not looking forward to 6 million coin golden tickets. If that's the case, I, I'll i be very disappointed. We'll just say that. Uh, if we get that from, what was that, Madden 20? That will be probably uh, kind of irritating. I remember I had like, I had a... I had a flip out video about how they ruined golden tickets for those prices in 20. And then like what lucky about that. Look, the good thing about that flip out video is that uh, they ended up increasing the pack odds and golden tickets later. I, ho I hope the pack odds and golden tickets are high this year. If they're not going to bring training variety packs, please don't make them the same rareness as regular like Thursday limiteds were. Brutal. Okay. That's it for the video. I think I'm done. I think I'm done talking about everything on its way. Um, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. If you guys do that, you will eat good forever.